Right? So the first gimmick he has is you put the cyber key in, which is a gray and with um, some red paint. Not very spectacular, but you press it in and it opens up. It opens up these things and becomes some sort of charged particle cannon. I like to think of it because it just looks like that classic sci-fi thing. And nice good ratchet here. Doesn't feel like it's going to break. And it slides back and forth mainly because of a joint that's used for the robot mode. But you could use it here. Also has a little cannon that can go up and down. But it goes up and down on its own little ratcheting kind of thing. Not really a ratchet, just a what up or down on and off kind of joint. It's got its own little double barreled gun. And two mini com ports. Really bold blue and red. Uh, white, lots of colors. There's some silver on these sort of engine mod pods right here in the middle. And and yes, you can take off the missile. Um, well, when it's a, into its charged particle gun mode, you have a um, spring-loaded weapon. See that thing right there. And it'll fire, and due to the way it's um, molded, it, it will fire between fair and not at all. Uh, there's also a triple, there's also a, bat, I believe there's a battery port where you can get the blue section of the missile to light up and does one sound effect. Because of transformation, I took off the missile, you could, of course it's detailed like a kind of with the rocket boosters and everything, so it's yeah, it's a sizable anti um, long range ground buster kind of weapon. Symbol right here on the front page, and it's got a good weight to it. Wheels all all roll super well because they are big wheels, big really tough vehicle wheels, treaded and everything. They're plastic wheels, but they're big and they got grooves in them, so they they get the they just really contact the ground well. There's nothing to because they're off camera. Start by disconnecting these front panels up here so that you can get the get the gun free. Okay, that will be his cannon later. Getting that free. Then you flip those down. With the arms, which have been revealed. They're buried under all this armor, which is nice. Then you pull out the heel spurs really quickly. These white pieces. Flip the panels that were part of the assembly and are now the culmination of all eight wheels. Now go into his legs. Lots of rolling, lots of spinning now, but at least it means he doesn't have wheels on his shoulders, if that bothers you. Okay, then you flip up the head, which comes down with his chest panel, and as you can see it's a very simple transformation, but it does leave him with good articulation, and actually the vehicle mode isn't compromised, because it's all, since I guess because it's a heavy armored vehicle, I guess that's why the why the vehicle mode isn't compromised is because it can really conceal this kind of robot. Then it's an APC that's clearly not carrying any people inside; it's carrying a giant robot. Moving along, you put the missile back on. This does hurt its balance, but he does have these gigantic heel spurs, and he will hold his weight if you try to stand him up try and stand him up on my hands, he just holds perfectly fine. So, and he's got a waist movement, and head movement, now the head movement will be a little fidgety unless you get it to just the right, it will not turn until you get it lined up. There you go, you gotta put the chest down and then it will start to turn, yeah. Very stiff, but it'll turn. And then you have blue light piping, and more importantly, another gimmick. Uh, this kind of shotgun weapon that comes out, you're supposed to put the cyber key in, but really the joint is uh, clean enough that you can just tap it out yourself. 
Okay. I do like having the missile being a particle gun. Like that, when you put the cyber key in. Big charge particle cannon on spring loaded uh, rifle. You see him, you see your Cybertron red alert, use this a lot on the uh, Cybertron television's cartoon a lot as a rifle. And it does have this nice shotgun like grip on it. I'm not sure if that's the right way up or it's, or if the other way is or if you need to flip it around, but you can put it on either arm. I like it on this arm because it's you know complementary to the fact that he's got a pulse rifle on the other one. In his knees, he's got two tools that you can put onto this uh, weapon. And one is a is a funky spring loaded hammer that when you hit something with it, it'll recoil a bit. And the other, and I guess this is because it's a red alert mold from Cybertron, and then Cybertron and Armada red alerts are very similar uh, in that they have these tools. And even in his upgraded form from Cybertron red alert, uh, the basic deluxe um, Cybertron red alert had tools in his legs. Just like these a hammer and a claw. Now this claw I really like. It's it's got these edges to it in a good shape. It's just ugh, it's much more powerful looking than the previous Cybertron Red Alert Claw and I mean if you're going to put a battle scene together or make an Autobot base that looks heavily defended, you've got to have either a Cybertron defense countdown, countdown or a red alert somewhere because it, it's it's a legitimate threat to the to the country.